what's up guys, this is Virus and today I will show you how to cleanly install Call of Duty 4 Mod Tools 1.1 and get ready for mapping and modding. So at first download all the files which are linked in the description. At the 1.6 patch there is a small link in the text, uh, don't use the one in the top left corner because it contains a download manager. Now you should have these four files. Additionally you need Call of Duty 4. I highly recommend using a fresh install which is non-Steam and English version to prevent errors. However, I cannot link the installer here so you need to get it somewhere else. So just launch the setup exe and install Call of Duty 4 with a valid serial number. It doesn't matter if it's a cracked serial or an original serial number. Do not install Punkbuster as it's not working anymore and not needed for your mod tool client. The installation process may take some time, so I just gonna fast forward it. After your installation is finished, just quickly start the game and create a new profile and check in multiplayer options if it's using the key you entered while installing the game. So now you can close your Call of Duty again. I recommend copying the config underline mp.cfg from the Call of Duty client you normally play with into your Call of Duty client we've just installed. So just go to Players, Profiles, your profile name and paste it in there. Now you need to install patch 1.6 and patch 1.7 afterwards. I just gonna fast forward through it as it shouldn't be that complicated. Now you have a fully updated, clean version of Call of Duty 4, so you are ready to install the mod tools. Just open the COD4 MV mod tools v1 zip and paste all the files in your Call of Duty installation path. I gonna fast forward again as it takes some time. When it's finished, open the COD Tools 1.1 and repeat the same process and overwrite existing files. So now you are finished with the installation of the Call of Duty 4 mod tools. You will find all the needed programs in the bin directory, the asset manager for creating assets such as models or custom textures, COD 4 effects ED for editing in-game effects, Cod for Radiant for creating Call of Duty 4 maps and finally Cod for Compile Tools for compiling all your maps. I recommend creating connections uh, on your desktop so you don't need to go in this folder every time you want to start a program like this. So that's it, you have your mod tools installed and I hope you will create some great maps for Call of Duty or maybe a nice mod to keep the community alive and see you in the next video.